Hi everybody, welcome back to uh, the next part in the series here. Here I'm going to show you how to create uh, your app icon and a launch screen for your app. So this will work on like iPad and iPhone, whatever, for, for iOS, not for Android. Android might be coming in a later video. Okay, so here I'm at this website, uh, appicon.build. And this is really handy because you just need to upload some images and it'll create a whole set of images with the correct sizes that you need to put them into Xcode and your into your iOS app. All right, so Apple's really specific about the the sizes of the images you can put in. So what I've done is I've got one image that I made. I used GIMP, which is a, a free photo editor. So I took just some icon that I wanted to be uh, the icon for my app, and over here I have a 1024 pixels by 1024 pixels image of it. Okay, so I did a little bit of photo manipulation. Also, this is supposed to be a white background, not black. I don't know why it shows black. Anyway, so you need a, you need a 1024 by 1024 um, image here. Okay, that'll be for the icon for your app. So what you see like when you want when you want to click it on your phone to start it up. And then over here is a a launch. What I'm what I'm going to be using for the launch screen. Photo. So this one is uh, 1,242 1, pixels by 2,208 pixels. Okay, and that'll let me use this website here to create uh, the launch images for my app. So I got I got those numbers just by looking here in this little support uh, little tab. So for pixel or for icons, I need 1024 by 1024. For launch images, I need 1242 by 2208. Okay, so those are the images I made. And then you just pretty much click here and you upload that, you know, whatever. Okay, so then when you upload your image, you need to put in your, or you need to confirm it. All right, so there's my 1024 by 1024. And then you give it your email and then it'll send you something to your email. And you need to Take it out of your email. Let's see. Not that one. Here we go. So it'll send you a zip folder, and then you just go through the zip folder and click on this iOS folder inside of there. And then here is uh, the icon set that you can use uh, in Xcode. Okay, so, so you have to do that once for your 1024 by 1024 image, which is for the icon. And then over here in this tab of my finder, um, <clears throat> this is where I put in my, my larger image for the launch screen. So, oops. So then you just go through what is sent to your email from this nice website. And then here is uh, the launch image set of images. So if you look in there, it's just your image at a bunch of different sizes that Apple requires. Okay. So basically, you create one, you put it into this website back here, and it sends you all the correct sizes you need. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go into my Xcode project, and we'll actually put these in. So this is just the main code, the main page of my Xcode project. I'll scroll down, scroll down here to app icons and launch images. Okay, so app icon source file. Right now, I can only choose this default one, so I'm going to click on this little gray arrow here. And this takes me to uh, where I can put more icons. So this is really handy. All I need to do is take this folder that the website supplied me. Okay, so this is my app icon. Remember, not the launch image. So I can just click and drag over here. And boom. If you get this, you can ignore it. There. Now I have uh, my app icon. And I'm going to do the same for my launch image. Okay, I'll just drag that folder over there. And boom, <clears throat> it's in. Okay, so let's go back to my main page in Xcode. And I'll scroll down, and now if I click App Icon Source, I can choose App Icon 1, that's the one I just brought in. And then Launch Images Source. Here I wanna click Use Asset Catalog and Migrate to Images, that's fine. <clears throat> and now you have to let it like sort of update. So I'm just going to click over one tab and go back and scroll down again. 
there we go. It's updated now. And uh, my set of images was called launch image. So I'll click launch image. And now if I just hit run, and I'm building on just a little simulator here. So I should have my launch image. Anytime I open up my app, I'll get that launch image during while my app is doing all the loading. And for me, I just have a logo. In the like human interface guidelines that Apple puts out as the standards for their user interfaces, like what you should do, they suggest that you put uh, a launch image that looks almost like your home screen when you're first opening up the app. So it kind of mimics loading up. Um, but you can also do a logo like I have. Okay, so my app is loading and it's showing my launch screen image, perfect. And there's my app. And if I just close out, I have my app icon too. Maybe I'll make that a little bit bigger, but you get the idea. So there you go. Uh, now you've created an app icon for your app and a launch image. So if I close it and I start it back up again, boom. Looks pretty good, huh? All right, guys. Hope that helped. See you later.